Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Uh, welcome to Cooking with Brenda Lee. Um, guys, I wasn't going to do a video on this, but I said, what the hell. Um, it's hot. I'm going to do some subs and um, Brenda Lee's Subway subs, my style. And uh, I'm going to tell you all what I'm using on my subs. And you all know what I say. Make it your own. I'm missing a few things, but here's what I'm going to work with today. All right, so, guys, I found these at work. These are new. Great, great grains. Gourmet hoagie cheddar cheese rolls. And if you go Subway, you get your choice of bread. So, these have cheddar cheese. And we're going to toast them just like uh, they do if you can get yours toasted at Subway. So, anyhow, we'll go to that step in a little while. So, here's what I've got, guys. The ham and turkey sub kit. Kroger Smith's. We sell this. It was on sale, so I'm going to go with this. And these are nice because they're uh, divided by paper, so you have just the right amount of meat for each sub. That's what I like about it. I picked me up some uh, private selection top round Angus, which is the roast beef. Got to have the roast beef. I wish I got salami, so I kind of missed a couple things. I've got my uh, pre cooked bacon, guys, and then you just microwave it for a little bit. And I'm not going to have to do that because they're going in the oven. And um, of course, my provolone cheese. Use whatever you want. I got my shredded uh, iceberg lettuce. And then um, got to have some uh, dill chips. Um, green pepper. My red onion, which I julienne real thin. Uh, sliced tomato. My mayo. Salt pepper. And guys, I found these little bottles at work. I said, ooh, let me get those. They were buy one, get one half off. So I got my oil and my red vinegar. So guys... The only thing I'm missing is some black olives. And Bobby don't say nothing because I love black olives. And I thought I had banana peppers, but I cleaned up my fridge and threw them out. So this is what we're going to work with. So give me just a minute. I'm going to move my stuff. Oh, and salt and pepper. I'm going to move my stuff around. And we're going to make us some uh, Subway subs for lunch. So I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm back. Anyway, all right, guys. So I got my hoagie rolls. And you can see they're pre-split. I'm going to cut these just a little bit more. Guys, it's supposed to be 108 degrees today in Vegas. It's ridiculous. And they say the temperatures are 10 degrees higher than they were last year. So I guess we are above the norm. Anyway, I'm trying to open this up a little bit, guys, so I, could, I don't want to tear it apart. But if I do, it's going to be all right. Look at all the cheese on these rolls. It's going to be good. So I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. I'm off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm so excited. Thank you, Kelly, for the Sunday. I have to give her some uh, chocolate chip. I mean, the pumpkin chocolate chip bread. That was the negotiating factor of me getting off Sunday also. So I love you for that, Kelly. Thank you. So anyway, guys, I'm going to start with my mayonnaise. Like I said, we're going to toast these. And guys, I always put mayonnaise on my bread. It just gives it um, a whole different uh, taste. But I still come back and hit it with a little bit of mayonnaise when they're done. This just helps the bread toast. Gives it a wonderful flavor. That was one of Bobby's things he showed me because I never did that before. So anyway. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to toast this bread first. Probably for about... I don't know, two, three minutes. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to put the meat and the cheese on these and put them right back under the broiler. So I'll be back with you in just a minute. Alright guys, so I left these, uh, <clears throat> I left my hoagie rolls in there for about three minutes just till my little edges start getting a little crispy because they got to go back in so I don't want to over toast. Okay, so first of all, so uh, first step was buns and mayonnaise. Now I want mayonnaise trying to hurry guys I gotta be at work at two so I'm gonna put two slices I'm only making two but I'm gonna end up making like four <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my cheese use whatever cheese you want guys and I think what I'm gonna do is maybe cut these in two let me get my cutting board guys sorry alright so I'm gonna cut these right down the middle too guys there's ham and turkey on both of these so it works out just like that. I'm going to put that there. Because there's a lot of stuff going on these. If you want to separate the meat, I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Then I'm going to take some roast beef. I love this roast beef. And guys, I'm not going to cut this. I'm just going to fold them. This stuff so thin, so I'm going to put a piece there. 
And guys, I still got to put my ingredients. So however much, but this looks like plenty of meat going on here. I wish I had some pastrami. But guys, get whatever meat you want. Deli meat, prepackaged meat. All right, so now, and my bacon. Guys, this is pre-cooked. I love this bacon. So I'm gonna put it on the top and it'll just cook right on top of there. All right, so now I'm gonna put these back in under the broiler for probably about five minutes or until uh, my bacon and that starts cooking. So as soon as they come out, I'll be back and we're gonna put them together. All right, guys, so I'm back. <clears throat> guys, these don't take too long at all. All right, so another three minutes. My bun's not over toasted. Everything's good. So now we're going to assemble. So I'm going to put a little bit more mayonnaise just on one side of the bun, guys. If you want to put mustard on here, whatever you whatever you want. You know, Subway's got all them special sauces, the garlic and mayo, garlic mayo or something. I don't know. they got all, like, what, 12, 13 sauces, but... We're going simple today. Okay, so there's my lettuce. I mean, my mayo. I'll put a little bit of lettuce. And some green pepper. I know Bobby's looking, but he ain't getting this on his. He's a simple kind of guy. All right. Got to have the pickle, y'all. Just got to have the pickle. But I have my black olives. Like I said, banana peppers. I've been in there, y'all. tomato. I'm just going to put two because I'm going to cut these in half, y'all. And my red onion. And I'm going to put it over here on this side. As I got to come up with some summer meals because God, it's just too hot here to cook sometimes. And in the summer, you know, that heat gets to you and you don't always feel like eating a big meal. So, alright. So that's it. Uh, some more mayo, lettuce, uh, bell pepper, tomato, pickle, red onion, salt pepper, and let's salt the tomato side, y'all, and some pepper, and I got my little all my little oil and vinegar. I need one of these squeeze bottles for the lettuce, and I'd be in there. Just a little drizzle. Like I'm a Subway, y'all. Um, I gotta have my oil and vinegar at Subway and my salt and pepper. And there you go, guys. <clears throat> That's it. Cooking with Brenda Lee Subway subs. And then I'm gonna fold these up. Good luck on that. And there you go, guys. How about that? You think I worked at Subway, huh? Got you all fooled, no? I want to take my bread knife and cut these in too. So looky there. There you go. That's a pretty sandwich, guys. Simple, easy, quick for summer, lunch. It's a wrap. So anyway, um, I know they're going to be a good job. Anyway, I hope everybody has a good Wednesday. I know this was a short video, but I just wanted to share my little Subway subs with y'all. I hope everybody has a blessed day. Um, and until my next video, which will probably be Friday, Y'all, I hope you uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up to all my new uh, followers. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And until the next video, be blessed. Have a great weekend, which will be hitting soon. And I appreciate you all.